Melissa called Math Lady. Today we're talking about symbols of inclusion. Now, up until now, we've mostly talked about parentheses as being our symbol of inclusion, but we also have brackets and braces. And here's what you need to know about this. When you're working a math problem, you always just start with the innermost set of, and it's usually going to be parentheses, will be first. You start with the innermost and you work your way out. Let's take a look at this problem here. 100 minus, we have a bracket, 50 plus, parentheses, 20 minus 10. Ah, without rules, we wouldn't know where to start. But the rule is start with the innermost, which is the 20 and the 10. Right, it's right here. So 20 minus 10, we know is 10. Let's rewrite it. 50 plus 100. Next we do the 50 plus 10, which is 60. And then we have 100 minus 60, which brings us back to the answer, which is 40. Okay, start with the innermost, work your way out. Even though I didn't talk about it before, absolute value is also uh, an inclusion symbol. Here's what I mean. When we have an absolute value, we'll work that first. And here you're seeing my example. I've got one inside of my parentheses. So let's do it. We've got 20 minus parentheses, 5 plus, this is absolute value, 2 minus 5. Let's do the 2 minus 5 absolute value first. 2 minus 5, we know that's going to be a negative 3, right? But since it's absolute value, it's going to change to 5 plus 3, which we know is 8. Now let's engage everything out here. We've got 20 minus 8. Our answer is 12. Let's try this example. We have a division bar. And what you need to know here is that the division bar is the last thing we'll deal with. So let's use some of the concepts that we know. Remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, tells us what to work on. Well, we've got parentheses. Let's work on those. 4 minus 2, I'm going to rewrite everything, is 5 times 2. Plus 4 divided by 2, it's in the parentheses, so let's work it, is 2. Let's do the bottom. 10 times 4 is 40. We're still not done with the top, so let's do it. 5 times 2, because multiplication comes first, so 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Over 40, don't know why I'm using red, <laughs> that can be simplified down to 3 tenths. Okay, so symbols of inclusion. Your job, work the innermost ones first, Work your way out, and remember that the division bar also acts like a, a symbol of inclusion. We always do that one last. Okay, that's it for me today, Nicole the Math Lady. Make sure you try the practice problem so you can get really good at doing this by yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.